Good morning, South Dakota. Good morning, friends of SDSU. Good morning. It's a beautiful SDSU blue sky shining down on us this morning. Welcome to the Hobo Day Parade, 109th annual Hobo Day Parade. My name's Doug Warren. I'll be your parade announcer today, and I'm joined by... Maddie Mack. I'm a 2016 graduate of SDSU, now in Sioux Falls, and I'm so happy to be here with you all today. And I graduated in 1985, although I've been accused of 1885 in that first graduating class, but 1985. We are thrilled to be bringing the Hobo Day Parade, a grand SDSU tradition, returning after a brief absence to uh, show us that adventure does await indeed. That's this year's tagline. Adventure awaits whether you're looking to buy or sell your home. Make best choice real estate part of the journey. Their experienced agents can help you navigate the process from start to finish. Best Choice Real Estate has been number one in the Brookings market for more than 25 years. Call them at 692-9200 or visit their website at brookingshomes.com. You'll hear a lot more from Best Choice because they're helping us sponsor the live stream this year. Very thankful to them. Yes, thank you so much, Best Choice. Well, as we can see, the traditional start to the parade, one of Brookings' finest. Uh, on one of Brookings' finest Harley Davidsons. I always wonder how they keep that low speed going without falling over. Some good bike riders. Takes talent. You can just now hear the pride, the familiar SDSU chant. Of course, the entire parade led by our flag and the state flag. If you're not already, please rise for the American flag as it comes by. Ring the bells in the background. Here's this year's Grand Marshal, Linda Schumacher. She's a young lady that served seven SDSU presidents. Hey, happy Hobo Day to Weary Will and Dirty Lil. They look very familiar. Huh. Actually, they look a little like each other. <laughs> that might be a brother, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Happy holiday, Lil. Happy holiday, Will. And driving the Bummobile, we have our 2020 Grand Poopa, Kylie Donnelly. Thanks for coming out today, Kylie. Good morning, Spirit Squad. Happy Hobo Day. The South Dakota State University Pride of the Dakotas. Remarkable thing about the band, Maddie. You were in it, weren't you? I was. I actually carried that banner one year. And man, does that metal pole get cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not every whole day is as, uh, weather is as favorable as today. So. Absolutely. The remarkable thing about the Pride, besides their general musicianship, is that it's made up of any kind of major on campus. You don't have to be a music major to be in. Absolutely. And this, oh, here's ring the bells.
Take a good look at those uniforms, folks. They're getting new ones next year as they go to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. They sure are. And I think this is the biggest pride I have seen in years. Maybe, I don't know. But I think you're right, Maddie. The, they've uh, got the numbers. Yeah, the, uh, there's 3,800 students that live in campus, and I think all of them are in the pride. Yeah, that's, that's great. That was an enormous that band. every student on campus. Of course, it takes... Uh, some uh, serious vehicular assistance to move the pride around. Head of the uh, School of Performing Arts, David Reynolds, accompanied by some young co-ed there. Oh, it's <laughs> Rena, it's Rena Reynolds. Well, Maddie, we have what we describe in the business as a parade gap. Great time to cross the street if you need to. While we have a moment, let's shout out to the city of Brookings. Thank you, as always, for letting us close off all the streets needed for the parade, as well as last night, they let us close off part of downtown for Rally at the Rails. It was great fun. They had a band, the Rhythm Rabbits, the acapella group did some performing. It was wonderful. And they, of course, did the judging for the One Month Club. That's so right, got to see one some month pretty month. high quality beards and some good efforts at growing a beard. The uh, uh, One Month Club used to have a female division. I don't know if it still does. Those I don't think it's, legs contest. Yes, I don't think it's as well participated as maybe in the 70s and 80s, but I think there are a few that still my, manage uh, to get in. My lovely bride and sometimes announcing partner uh, would be happy to know that uh, I could still remember her winning that contest. And I hope she kept the trophy. Yeah, she might not be too happy with me announcing it, but <laughs> it happened. SDSU president, Barry H. Dunn. Our first lady, Jane Dunn, in a very nice car. That is a gorgeous Rolls Royce. I believe this is the cannon that recognizes SDSU's touchdown, so we hope that that overheats today. And it got the parade started. One of our uh, one of our ROTC members is not in uniform. She has a different kind of boot on, but she's still <laughs> marching. That's the kind of dedication we like to see on Hobo Day. Indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the folks that help keep us safe here in Brookings County, the Brookings Fire Department. I think that's every vehicle they got. Yeah, and probably some from the surrounding area as well. These firefighters are looking younger and younger, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> that one doesn't look like he's blown out candles on more than five cakes. Quite a lineup from our Brookings Fire Department folks. Every vehicle looking spiffy. This next one has a bell right on the bumper. They must be able to ring that from in the cab, huh? Wow, that's uptown, guys. Why the parade of fire, uh, Trucks goes by, maybe a chance to reflect a little bit on hobo history. It actually starts in 1912 when we were the South Dakota Agricultural College on our way to becoming SDSU.
Oba Day has been canceled just three times in its history. As you might imagine, the first one was in 1918 for World War I, then World War II, and then, of course, last year. These are our friends from the Aurora Fire Department in their rescue vehicle, Brush One. Another Aurora unit. And then more of our first responders in the Brookings Ambulance. I hear the fight song again. We must have uh, another uh, alumni band coming up. We do. Unless the pride circled back around, but <laughs> that would be quick. That would be highly irregular. Here comes the deans in their dean vehicles. Happy Hobo Day, John Killifer, our egg dean. Dan Hansen, our pharmacy dean. Bruce Bedanier, our engineering dean. I want to try one. Christy Tornquist, who provides leadership yeah, to the library. Oh, and Becky Bond, our honors dean. Oh, that was our uh, graduate college leadership. College of Nursing Dean, Mary Ann Crow. And coming up, we have the SCSU Little International is the largest two-day student-run livestock exposition in the nation. This event brings roughly 1,500 FFA and 4-H members to campus to compete in career development events, and roughly 200 collegiate students compete in ag-related competitions and showing livestock. They would love to invite you all to the 99th Little International on April 1st and 2nd, 2022. Did you ever show an animal for the life? I did not, but my sister showed a pig and was just infinitely proud of herself. <laughs> I, uh, I, I showed a sheep, and it was the most poorly sheared animal. By the time I was done with it, it looked like Scooby-Doo. It was oh. not good. It's got to be an alum band. They're not. They're not looking quite like undergrads. No, this is the alumni band composed of pride members from years past. As the woodwinds pass, I'd like to say hi to my mom. Doing great, mom. And my sister, I guess, but mostly my mom. Every five years, the pride of the Dakota alumni dust off their instruments and visit campus to relive great memories and march in the Hobo Day Parade. If marching with the pride was an important part of your time at SDSU, be sure to join the Pride Alumni Chapter. This group has a lot of fun, I can tell you that much. I, I think it's remarkable that they can come back and just jump right back into it. Oh, absolutely. I think I need some practice before I got back out there to carry that banner. Brookings Area Transit Authority, Beta, helps rabbits get rides throughout the weekend. And coming up next, we have the Brookings Multicultural Center. The Brookings Multicultural Center is dedicated to developing a supportive and inclusive environment. The center provides community building, cultural diversity, education, and community resources. All are welcome. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this morning, Brookings Multicultural Center. There's someone up there. And behind that, St. Thomas More Catholic School. St. Thomas More Catholic School was founded in 2017 with their first class of kindergarten students starting that fall. 
Today, STMCS offers school opportunities for students age three to third grade with over 100 students enrolled. They offer before and after school care, Spanish, school lunch, small class sizes, and much more. They are a family and they encourage you to check them out. Next we have the Arnold Air Society. If you want to be in the parade next year, join the Air Force ROTC so you can be a member of the Arnold Air Society. I can't tell what it is yet, Maddie, but it's a gorgeous Ford 100. That is. I'll even yeah. forgive the color. It's a yeah, indeed. It's not a whole day color, but it's a great looking truck. F100 from I would say the late 50s. They're followed by the uh, Brookings High School Marching Band. Oh, this is our Brookings County Commissioners. Happy Hobo Day! 56. Thanks, Mr. Bartley, or Commissioner Bartley, more formally. Let's give these Brookings Bobcats a listen. I think I shouted out to the Brookings High School band, but I believe it's the Brookings uh, Middle School band. Or that or the high schools have all got, high schoolers all got a little smaller. Well, either way, the Bobcat Band overcame the widespread challenges of 2020 to have one of their best seasons in program history. They would especially like to thank their parents, the community of Brookings, the school board, and administrators for all their generous support of the program, especially the incredible booster organization. Always happy to see the Bobcats on Hobo Day. If you're parading around town looking for a new home this weekend, then you'll need to call the Grand Poobahs of the real estate market. Best Choice Real Estate. They'll help you find a home that floats your boat and your budget. Best Choice Real Estate has been number one in the Brookings market for more than 25 years. Call them at 692-9200 or visit their website at brookingshomes.com. And a very happy Hobo Day to the SDSU College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions. This float represents the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions, which educates future pharmacists, medical lab scientists, and respiratory therapists to make a long-standing impact on improving health. Representing the college today is the Student Collaboration for the Advancement and Promotion of Pharmacy, Kappa Epsilon, and Kappa Psi. You're a, you're a daughter of two pharmacy colleges. I am. I am the daughter of two people who met at a Kappa Psi event. So shout out to Kappa Psi. I wouldn't be here without you. We're going to have to wait for this big ram to get closer so we can tell you what it is. 
a mysterious. I think I need a step ladder to get into a truck that size. Uh, this is our city council and mayor. Or at least our mayor. Or there they are. They're on foot. Oh man, they made you guys walk? Yeah. That the route's much longer than just Madari guys. And we have our you might be in the back of that truck by the time you turn by Bo's aid. We also have our 2001 Grand Poopa Nick Wendell walking with the Brookings City Council. Good morning, Nick. This is Miss Days of 76, complete with authentic straw bales. Ladies, did you throw those yourselves? A number of religious organizations are active on our campus, and this is the Mount Calvary Lutheran Student Fellowship. Happy to have them in the Hobo Day Parade. And a very happy Hobo Day to the Girl Scouts. With the Girl Scouts, you'll make new friends and have a ton of new experiences that show how exciting the world is, how awesome you are, over and over again. So what are you waiting for? Start on your adventure today. Adventure awaits with the Girl Scouts. My eyesight isn't as good as it used to be, but I don't think those are Girl Scouts driving that float. Pretty fancy truck there. That's followed by our Public Utilities Commissioner, Chris Nelson. I guess Chris is always going to know which sweatshirt is his. He's got his name on it. <laughs> you can do all sorts of things at SDSU, including build a tractor. I don't think they're going to plow with these, but they might, uh, might tear up a road. And a good morning to the ABE AST PRAG Club. The Egg Biosystems Engineering, Egg Systems Technology, and Precision Egg Club float this year embodies SDSU and SDSU's ambition toward renewable agriculture with its organic fertilizer applicator. The ABE AST PRAG Club is focused on bringing SDSU students in contact with industry professionals. Next is our Brookings Lions Club. Brookings Lions is celebrating 70 years of service to the Brookings community this year. They provide eye exams, eyeglasses, and hearing aids for needy individuals. Kids site vision screenings for over 1,000 school age and preschool children each year. They also provide large print calendars for the visually impaired. Thank you, Brookings Lions Club. And another band approaching the Gayville Vallen Marching Band is made up of 20 students in grades 9 through 12, and they are performing Aerosmith's Dream On this year. Glad you're here, Gayville Vallen Raiders. Sporting some SDSU colors, too, it looks like. Oh, I'm sure those are Gayville Vallen colors. They just look like ours a little bit. But wouldn't it be fun if they changed their uniforms just for us? <laughs> Next we have our college Republicans, joined by several of the candidates from the party. The South Dakota State College Republicans is a club founded to advance youth interests and promote the participation of young people in politics. This Hobo Day, the SDSU College Republicans are joined by the Brookings GOP, as well as many state and local officials. I think you guys lost Dusty Johnson. We saw him earlier. So if 
if uh, Taffy Howard's team was passing out Taffy, is Dusty's team passing out dust? We didn't get any if they were. We get, yeah, we didn't get any dust. <laughs> Governor Gnome and alum. Happy Hobo Day, Governor. This car is SDSU blue. This is Caitlin O'Neill. And I'm going to try it, Kiana. Kiana Healy. That's where she'd be if she was here, right? Right there. <laughs> Caitlin O'Neill is the current Miss South Dakota. She was crowned right here in Brookings in July and will be heading to compete for the job of Miss America on December 16th. Be sure to follow her journey on Instagram and Facebook at, at Miss America SD. Happy Hobo Day, Caitlin. Your family knows a little bit about that contest. Yes, my same sister who showed a pig in Little International was also our Miss South Dakota in 2017-ish, somewhere in there. I was there, but <laughs> it was a good time. Here's a high wheeler from about when Hobo Day started in 1912. And we have a Fantastics Floats Parade winner. Looks like we have a banner here on the front for the best music entry. Live music. Oasis College Ministry. Oasis is a college and young adult ministry that meets Sunday nights at 8 at Grace Point Church right here in Brookings, and they would love to see you join them. This is the Dakota Drifters Snowmobile Club entry. The Dakota Drifters Snowmobile Club was founded in 1976. The club marks, maintains, and grooms over 100 miles of snowmobile trails in the Brookings area. Please visit dakotadrifters.org for more information. I love the uh, motorized uh, uh, cooler there. That's pretty awesome. I bet we'll see that at tailgating later. And coming up next, we have our Medical Laboratory Science Club. They're a part of the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health, and they are promoting their future profession and the humor that can be found within the lab. MedLab Science, we get things spun, run, and done. Be positive, What's it? Missed my sign. Be positive. Graham positive. Love it. Here is state senator and alum and uh, many other positions at SDSU, VJ Smith. Followed by the Elk Point Jefferson High School Band. Elk Point is where uh, former President Chiquin is from. Absolutely, and two of our recent Grand Puas. Yes, that's right. We have right. Anna and Corey Chiquin, both from Elk Point Jefferson. Good morning, Huskies. The Elk Point Jefferson Marching Band is playing selections from the rock opera Tommy by The Who. They get a total of 24 minutes each day to work together while also performing in numerous pet band events and concerts throughout the year. A very busy group with not a lot of time to practice, but how good do they sound this morning? Along with all they do in music, over 80% of the band is also involved in at least one other school activity throughout the year. What a well-rounded group. Good morning, Elk Point Jefferson. The adventure on the Elbrick Road is bright for the students of the National FFA. The Brookings FFA chapter is committed to the individual student by developing their potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through ag education. This year's float was designed by the Brookings FFA officers with their advisor, Josh Johnson. Go Jacks! You know, I think I can still say the creed. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, I believe in the future of farming with a faith born not of words but of deeds and achievements won by the present past generations of agriculturalists. Even, okay, I'm done now. That's You're done as far now, as that's I got. all you got? Yeah, yeah. it's right. ninth grade, so it's been a long time. I'm still impressed, Doug. Do you still have your jacket? 
I do. There you go. I do. It's more of a vest, though, now. <laughs> you flexed and the arms fell off? Here is the Hallcat family. This is some folks that I know. A thousand years beautiful. ago when I was an RA, Missy lived on my floor. Although she, she went to college as, as an eight-year-old. She was very young. Happy Hobo Day to our family of the year. Passing out pom-poms, that's new. This is our friends from Farmers Implement and Irrigation, promoting Kubota, New Holland, and other ag equipment. And next up, we have the Big Sioux JOAD, or Junior Olympic Archery Development. It's a program of USA Archery that helps archers enjoy the sport recreationally oh. or progress to the excitement of competition. They have programs for kids age 8 through 20 and an adult program. Good morning, archers. Alpha Gamma Rho. Here we have the men of Alpha Gamma Rho, the only agricultural professional fraternity here at SDSU. Their chapter is made up of students with agriculture backgrounds, majors, and interests. To make better men through agriculture is their stated purpose. What a gorgeous float. I love it, men. And following that up, we have the Brookings Masonic Lodge. It's one of the oldest organizations in Brookings. First organized in 1882, the lodge has occupied the southwest corner of Third and Maid since 1894. The square encompasses forms the lodge's Farm distinct House logo. Fraternity. <laughs> right, I think they're having a good time. Happy Hobo Day, guys. Farmhouse Fraternity has been a builder of men since 1966 at SDSU. This year they're driving a 1969 Ford Great Truck decked out in hobo fashion. Hope they make it through the parade. Happy to see you, Senator Thune. I, I don't know if that truck's going to make it all the way. I don't know, but gosh, it doesn't get more hobo day than that. That was really awesome. Here's our friends passing out some baby bell cheese. We've got the Sodak Spurs. The Sodak Spurs Soccer Club has a new, it's a new year and they have a new name. This year the club, former Brookings Football Club, rebranded to expand opportunities with the Fishback Soccer Fields. They built a state-of-the-art indoor facility. And the club would like to thank the city of Brookings and all its players, coaches, and parents. Go Spurs! I have got, I'm sorry. I've got to thank those SDSU Nursing Students Association. Absolutely. We have had we have had many, many health clinics on campus to do vaccinations. We've got another one coming up this week, and uh, we wouldn't got it done without the nursing students. Absolutely. Big shout out to all of our healthcare heroes. Wow, this is our second Rolls Royce today. This one is carrying Provost Dennis Hedge. I wonder if before Dennis was paid to be a provost, was he an amateur post? We'll have to ask him. Or the job he had before, he would have been a prevost. <laughs> Nicholson Middle School, good morning to the band. Outstanding team is Olivia Ottenbred. Olivia is a freshman at Brandon Valley High School and will compete in the Miss South Dakota Outstanding Teen Pageant in June 2022. 
Fun fact, Olivia par Olivia's parents and siblings are all SDSU grads, clearly people of discernment and intelligence. So I need to make a correction. If that was the Mickelson Middle School band that just went by, it was the Brookings High School band earlier. My apologies for that. We can't blame you, that. Doug. High schoolers are starting to look younger, huh? Everybody looks like a grandkid to me at this age. <laughs> And next up, we have the Honors College Student Organization. They represent every honors student at SDSU, and they plan events throughout the academic year. They're excited to be back in the parade this year and spread their hobo cheer. SDSU Child and Family Resource Network is an outreach organization at SDSU in the College of Education and Human Sciences. Their mission is to promote the quality care of children through educating, supporting, and connecting the individuals involved in their lives by providing free parenting classes, child safety seat resources, and a variety of child care provider trainings. This dedicated team of early childhood professionals is proud to serve families. Following that up, we have the BSA, GSA, and LASA. That's the Black Student Alliance, Gender Sexuality Alliance, and Latin American Student Alliance. Their float represents the cultures and identities of the students in their organizations. And we are so glad to have them this morning. have the El Riyadh Shrine Clowns. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, it is my distinct honor to present the El Riyadh Shrine Clowns. Featured today we have Critter, Red, Buzzy, Teddy, Yogi, Rodeo, Gadget, Shiner, Sticky, Gumby, Dusty, Dimples, and last but not least, Buckets. These fine clowns support Shriners Hospital for Children who are changing lives every day through innovative pediatric specialty care, world-class research, and outstanding medical education. The Shriners Hospital of Children Health Care Systems provide advanced care for children with orthopedic conditions, burns, spinal cord injuries, and cleft and lift palate surgeries. I love that they get to pick their names. Absolutely. You don't think they were born with those? What's that? You don't think they were born with those? <laughs> does the name pick the clown, or does the clown pick the name? That's got to be Buckets. That's Buckets. Oh, got it. Got it. Electrode is also here. Thank you, Electrode. <laughs> we also have the El Riyadh Shrine Hillbilly Outhouse number 161. They are the El Riyadh Shrine Hillbillies having fun for a great cause. I think they're roasting something in that back there. Woohoo! We got some squirt guns. That is a Buick Electra, I would say late 70s, because my dad had one just like that, and it smoked just about as much. <laughs> I think they might be doing a brisket in the trunk. I think that's what's going on. So it takes a lot of leadership to provide leadership to all of SDSU's, uh, all of our, our institution and all of the South Dakota publics. 
We have student regent Brock Brown and Jeff Partridge who helped with that task. And here's the float for Stateathon. Stateathon is an organization at SDSU that fundraises for the Children's Miracle Network. Their efforts support the Sanford Children's Castle in Sioux Falls. What's going on? More than 11,000 students call Andrew Rasmussen and Rachel Scone, President and Vice President of SDSU Student Association. Happy Hobo Day, team. The South Dakota's Treasurer's Office Unclaimed Property Division is on the road returning your unclaimed property. Looks like they might have spent some of that unclaimed property on that fancy trailer. That's pretty spiffy. Yeah, is some of my property in there? The SDSU School of Design. Our friends headed towards architecture and other design majors. That is awesome. Yeah, how fun is I that? I think it's, they must have had to use paper plates and some other substance to produce their designs. Yes, this is the Design 121 course. Just paper plates. Only paper plates. All paper plates. plates. I think what I what I really liked there was that uh, a lot of them look better than the masked singers do, and they just use paper plates to pull it off. I would agree with that. And a good morning to the Windside High School Marching Wildcats. They are from Northeast Nebraska and are proud to represent their school and community. This is their third Hobo Day Parade, and we're so glad to see them again. The Brookings Mountain Biking Association is established to help bring trails to Brookings. Encouraging all types of mountain bikers, skill levels to advance. They invite you to get outside and have a ride. Woo! Happy Hobo Day! Here is SDSU's Teacher of the Year, Christine Senior Ramsey from the Counseling and Human Development College. The Jacks for Life is a pro-life club at South Dakota State University. Participants uh, advocate in the pro-life movement, not only across campus, but within the community and state of South Dakota as well. Here is our 2020 Advisor of the Year, Kate Haggerty. Congratulations, Katie. And a very good morning to the Madison Avenue Dance Studio. They just started their seventh season of dance in Brookings, offering ballet, tap, jazz, palm, hip hop, lyrical, and competitive classes. It's never too late to join them, Doug. Check out their website for details on how to sign up. <laughs> it might be too late for me. <laughs> hey, homes are selling quickly, so get Jack to buy or sell your home with Best Choice Real Estate. Their team of full-time agents are standing by to not only assist you with your real estate needs, but cheer you on in every step on along the way. Best Choice Real Estate has been number one in the Brookings market for more than 25 years. Call them at 692-9200 or visit their website at brookingshomes.com. The Society of Automotive Engineers is an organization at SDSU where students design and build a formula-style race car from the ground up. 
They do this every year and compete against colleges from around the world. Over the summer, the team competed at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That is certainly going to fit in any parking spot on campus. I would agree. If you can find one. Happy Oval Day, Brock. Now, is it Baja? Baja. Jackrabbit Baja is a collegiate design competition team that designs, engineers, and builds an off-road mini Baja car for the SAE Baja competition. This team competes each year with colleges from around the country and the world. Lots of opportunities for some fun automotive engineering. Oh, yeah. They wouldn't sponsor us, though. Yes. That's the way to get through the parade on a skateboard. Yes. Toad on a skateboard. Well, I first knew this guy as advisor to Hobo Day Committee when I was on Hobo Day Committee in uh, 19, you know, 10. And Keith was our advisor, and then he went on to be a dean of a college, and then he went on to be uh, mayor of Brookings, and now he's a distinguished alum. Congratulations, Mr. Corbett. And a very happy Hobo Day to the Brookings County 4-H. 4-H is a longtime tradition in South Dakota and in Brookings County. 4-H provides a strong foundation of life skills through projects and programs that promote good character, confidence, and personal development. Longevity is made possible because of a strong core of volunteers. Find your spark and join 4-H. <laughs> and my dad's cousin, Scott. <laughs> I can still get this one, Maddie. I pledge my head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, my health to better living for my home, my club, my community, my country, and my world. There you go. Tell FFA to get a shorter pledge. Yeah, they, they've got a shorter <laughs> pledge. That was a creed I was oh, working on there. Oh, yeah. Do you guys love cheese? Delta Chi. The Delta Chi fraternity is built on its core values of promoting friendship, developing character, advancing justice, and assisting in the acquisition of a sound education. Delta Chi was founded in SDSU in 2002 and emphasizes world travel, leadership, and personal development. Happy Hobo Day, Delta Chi. I don't know if I want to know where they got the scoreboard, Doug. <laughs> Here's another one of our distinguished alums. Congratulations to Ron Alverson. And you might be able to hear the Miller High School Rustler Regiment Marching Band coming down the streets. They've performed at the annual Hobo Day Parade every year for more than 30 years. The Dizzy Gillespie-style trumpets in the band were commissioned by former band director Leo Warnke back in the 80s and have been a recognizing feature of the Miller Band program since. Doug, it is a little late in the season for most high school marching bands, so we are always so excited when we get them to come and join us for Hobo Day. Yeah, I agree, Maddie. It's not a parade unless you have a bunch of high school marching bands, and it's great that these students turn out for this. Troop 5511, Trail Life USA is a faith-based scouting organization providing outdoor activity, youth mentorship, and character development for boys. Troop 5511 invites you to join in the fun for their second year in the Brookings community. Welcome to the parade, Troop 5511. 
And following that up, we have the Construction Management Club entry. They partnered with Electronic Engineering Technology, Architecture Club, and the Institute of Transportation Engineers to hand build this float designed to show the adventure that awaits in the new First Bank and Trust Arena. Wow, that is a good looking arena. Advance. Advance is a nonprofit organization that supports more than 115 people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Advance offers opportunities for people to live life to the fullest. We love being part of the community and part of Hobo Day. Happy Hobo Day, Advance and volunteers. Thanks for joining us this morning. Under that script, Maddie, here comes a breeze. Here's another distinguished alum. Congratulations, David Schaefer, on their recognition. So for those of you that don't know, the Hobo Day tagline this year is Adventure Awaits. Our Hobo Day Committee encourages students and alumni to continue the journey they started at SDSU. We never truly know where life will take us, and at times it might feel like we don't have much control over what's happening, but we do get to choose whether we enjoy the ride or not. The hope is that all students and alumni will continue their path, even if they're unsure where it will lead, and the 2021 committee has embraced every adventure in planning for Hobo Day this year. No matter what obstacle what they encountered along the way, they navigated it as a team, and the 18 members of the committee strive to carry on tradition, discover new paths, and always remember, adventure awaits. The SDSU Agronomy and Precision Agriculture Club is represented in our next fantastic float. This club works with the Agronomy, Horticulture, and Plant Science Department to give students opportunities and experience to learn about the fields of agronomy and precision agriculture, develop leadership skills, provide service to the community, as well as giving students the opportunity to meet other students and ag agronomy Horticulture and Plant Science faculty. And a happy Hobo Day to the Sons of Norway 1508. The Sons of Norway's Viking boat is out for a fun voyage across South Dakota, which is why the boat is on wheels. And they would like to say, go Jacks. Oh yeah, Sons of Norway, good to see you then. Did you bring the Ludafisk? Oh my gosh, I had Ludafisk growing up. I'm def my family's Norwegian and dang, you you got to hope for uh, cold when you eat the Ludafisk. Yep. See, we are German, but my grandparents like to pretend we were Norwegian, so we also would have Ludafisk now and then. That was our Korean Student Association who established to promote Korean culture in various cultural exchanges. About 50 Korean students are studying here at SDSU and this organization always wants to welcome those who want to learn more about Korean culture. And we have our Nursing Teacher of the Year, Vinita Winterbor. Congratulations. I'm a huge hockey fan. The Wild are clearly, are, are currently uh, three and O, oh, and this is a local, obviously, organization. Our friends at the Brookings Rangers. Kai Omega and Pike. Pike and Kai Omega are two Greek life organizations that are getting into the Hobo Day spirit. You heard that with their big cheer. Happy Hobo Day, Kai Omega and Pike.
Here is South Dakota State Representative Larry Tiedemann, also former dean. Good to see you, Larry. And coming up next, we have Teen Miss Rodeo South Dakota, Shannon Rebelin. She's from Brookings. She's been representing the state of South Dakota and the sport of rodeo at rodeos and events all over South Dakota. She'll be handing her title down at the Brookings PRCA Rodeo November 5th and 6th. Here's another icon of Hobo Day, President Peggy Miller. Happy Hobo Day, Peggy. And if you haven't had a chance to see the updated Wellness Center, that is named for Peggy Gordon Miller. Here are our friends, College Democrats. The South Dakota State University College Democrats embrace students of all backgrounds who want to take action and join an inclusive community dedicated to their values. Joining College Dems is the feminist equality movement, an active and engaged student org that has been part of the SDSU campus since 2003. Their activities focus on empowering women economically, socially, and politically. Another one of our political representatives, former mayor of Brookings, all around swell guy, our current South Dakota representative from District, oh my gosh, Tim, help me, four or seven? Seven. I had to count fingers there. I was a journalism major, not math. South Dakota representative Tim Reed. Here are our little friends from Universal Cheer. Some cartwheels right here on Madari Avenue. Universal Cheer offers a competitive cheerleading program for girls ages 5 to 15, as well as various camps and clinics throughout the year. Universal Cheer strives to offer a place for any cheerleader, no matter what beginning skills or years of experience exist prior to joining. Doug, once again, it's never too late. You know, Weary Will and Dirty Lil just showed up again. Say hi to the, say hi to Weary Will and Dirty Lil crowd. Mascots of Hobo Day personified. I hear they might be from the metropolis of Eden, South Dakota, and they're not Adam and Eve. If you haven't heard of Eden, South Dakota, don't worry, no one else has either. <laughs> South Dakota State Representative Steve Halgard. Steve, thank you for coming to the parade. Happy Hobo Day. <laughs> you got weary and dirty in the picture. And a very happy Hobo Day to the Geography Club. The Geography Club hosts the Geography Convention, the longest running student organized convention in the nation. This year's convention is March 31st and April 1st at SDSU. Mark your calendars and create your own adventure with the Geography Club. The world awaits. Hey, that's our 2021 Sp Hobo Spirit Award winner, Gordon Neva. Congratulations, Gordon. Good morning, Gordon. I don't know if we mentioned, Doug, which years were you on the Hobo Day Committee? 
I was on the Hobo Day Committee in uh, 1983 and 1984, and I was going to be on again in 1985, but then I accidentally graduated. Don't you hate when that happens? Yeah, I did. It, we got a big bunny bus coming up here, Maddie. We do. I think it's our friends from the Boys and Girls Club. I think you're right. The mission of the Boys and Girls Club is to inspire and enable all young people, especially those who need us most, to realize their full potential as productive, responsible, and caring citizens. Boys and Girls Club bunny ears. I love those. I love how they adapted those banners to bunny ears. That's the creativity we expect from the Boys and Girls Club of America. It kind of feels like that big dog truck from the movie Dumb and Dumber, only much, much better done. <laughs> it has complete with bunny tail on the bus. That's awesome. Here's the College of Agriculture and Food and Environmental Sciences Teacher of the Year, Dr. Kent Jensen. Congratulations, Kent. Now the guy driving this next pickup is a pal of mine. His name is Russ Chavez. He helps provide leadership to the Veteran Affairs Office on campus. His license plate says Smoke 7 because he's a wealthy man and has seven pickups. <laughs> Good morning to the Armed, For Armed Forces Association. They're here to spread the awareness of military-affiliated students attending South Dakota State University. He is joined They're committed by the to lovely education and talented and country. Connie Johnson. I'm sorry. It's just fine, Doug. I know done. you were distracted by the candy, too. This is our Brookings County State's Attorney, Dan Nelson, who is on foot. The United Living Community, providing services in our county to the elderly. They've been an essential part of the Brookings community for over 58 years. They're located near Pioneer Park, and their facilities include independent living apartments, assisted living suites, and a skilled nursing complex. They strive to bring comfortable living, licensed medical services, and caring, supportive staff to your loved ones. I see Sylvie Larson. Hi, Sylvie. Thanks for joining us this morning. Our own Miss SDSU in a beautiful blue convertible. For you car spotters at home, that's a 1960 GTO convertible. Red line tires, just like the Hot Wheels from that year. 61. No, six. 66. The driver is correcting me. Oh, I got it. Now I get the license plate. I thought it was the 6T was... And coming up, we have the SDSU Rodeo Team. They've been a part of SDSU's history since 1952 with over 1,200 alumni and numerous college national finals rodeo qualifiers. After a two-year hiatus, the Jackrabbit Stampede will be back April 8th and 9th in 2022. have our College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions Teacher of the Year, Teresa Seafelt. Brookings Taekwondo, Mark and Kelly Anowski are Jackrabbit alumni and co-owners of Brookings Taekwondo. Brookings Taekwondo offers family friends training in the art of Taekwondo. New students of any age are welcome to join at any time. They also offer self-defense and personal awareness. Happy Hobo Day, Kelly. 
Come check out classes at 919 Main Avenue South in Brookings. Mark and Kelly were both, uh, besides alums, were also involved with our University Police Department on campus, so lots of service from them. Here is our Jackrabbit Stampede Rodeo Ambassador, Carolyn Blatchford. You know, when I was on Hobo Day Committee, Maddie, the person who had made the least effort in planning throughout the year had to follow the horse units. You know, Doug, I thought you were going to say when you were on the Hobo Day Committee, this is what you drove to campus every morning. <laughs> no, no, I, I actually, I rode a dinosaur to campus. Prairie Smoke Native Habitat Restoration brings you Land Ho! Adventures on the High Seas. Prairie Smoke is committed to restoration of native prairie plants, habitats, and wildlife through seed and plant sharing endeavors, increasing pollinator habitat, restoring ecologic diversity on our beautiful prairie lands. Ahoy to them. The Pope Pius Newman Center and the Catholic Jacks are our next float. The Newman Center is a great way to get involved on campus with mass being offered six days a week and fun events happening throughout the year. And here we have Jesus walking on the water. <laughs> Happy Hobo Day. Peter, it must be Jesus because he's, Peter would have been in the water. By yes, now. yes. And a good morning to the American Legion Riders Post 15 Chapter 2. They are members of the American Legion family who are well known for charitable work throughout the Sioux Falls community and state. Alpha Z Delta and Sigma Alpha Epsilon. Alpha Z Delta is a women's fraternity that was founded on the pillars of sisterhood, leadership, knowledge, and service. Along with Alpha Z Delta, Sigma Alpha Epsilon, SAE is a men's fraternity that was focused on academic success and the creation of a true gentleman, a man who appears well in any company. And good morning to the International Relations Council. They're the international student voice at SDSU. Their leaders work closely with the Office of International Affairs staff to help new students adjust to life at SDSU. IRC is an advocate for international student concerns and support programs that encourage students to get involved and make new friends on and off campus. It's the Bum Band. Their uniforms are a little, little less uh, spiffy than the Jacks, the Pride, but they got the right tune. The Bum Band. The notes are slurred and so is their speech. Happy Brookings Gun Club. They are located east of town on Highway 14 and they're Brookings' premier destination for clay target shooting. They're also home to many local, sh local shooting teams such as Sioux Valley, BHS, 4-H, and SDSU. Pull! Pull! I am 0 for 2 on catching Tootsie Rolls. I caught a Baby Bell cheese earlier, so we'll call that a success. Are you ready to tackle the home buying or selling process? Don't fumble your way through it. Call the best team of best choice real estate in town. Their playbook of strategic moves will not only get you to the end zone, but will help you win the game. Best choice real estate has been number one in the Brookings market for more than 25 years. Call best choice at 692-9200 or visit their website at brookhomes.com. We are live, nephews of the race and wrapping us up here, we have the Hobo Day Committee. These are the young people that make this whole thing happen. And driving the bummobile is our Grand Poobah Marie Robbins. 
Happy Hobo Day, Puba. Happy Hobo Day, Puba. And a big round of applause for this committee. They put in so much work for so many months to give us the biggest one day event in the Dakotas, and we are so grateful. Hey, Maddie, I want to get in one more word for our live stream sponsor. Thanks for their generosity. And we'll just give them one more shout out here. Happy Hobo Day from Best Choice Real Estate. Hobo Day is the biggest one day event in the Dakotas, but buying a home is the biggest investment of your life. Make sure you have a loyal agent by your side to guide you through the process. Go big, go blue, and go Gosh. house hunting. Best Choice Real Estate has been number one in the Brookings market for more than 25 years. Call them at 692-9200 or visit their website at brookingshomes.com. We wish you all a happy and safe Hobo Day and thanks so much for spending the morning with us. Happy Hobo Day.